Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, let's talk about implicit differentiation. Given this curve here, we want to find the derivative of y with respect to x. And so as you can see in the curve, this is going to be a complicated calculation, it can be tedious. And usually I don't like to do this kind of tedious calculation in my videos, but I still want to do one here because I want to make a video that's for those of you who can handle the easier problems, but will need more explanations or want to see someone doing it. So I'm going to make this video. So let's Let's get started. We are going to start differentiating the whole equation, both the left side and the right side. Okay, so first we are going to differentiate the x squared with respect to x. So we are going to simply just get the 2x. Okay, so we just get the 2x here and then plus and then now we take the derivative of the y squared, right? So remember y is being defined as a function of x. And so we are going to take the derivative using the power rule. So we are going to get 2y and then from there, because due to the chain rule, we still need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. And so we know that y is some function of x. So we are going to multiply by the derivative y with respect to x. So we have the dy over dx right here. Okay. And then now equals, and then we are going to take the derivative of this part right here. So see that there was a two on the outside. So we're going to use the power rule. So we got to bring the two to the front. And so we are going to be getting two times. Now the inner function doesn't change. So we are going to just copy everything inside the parentheses. So we get two x squared plus two y squared minus two y. And then now subtract the one from the two, right? So we just get the one here. And then now multiply by the derivative of the inside. So we are going to multiply by now the derivative of the inside. So we get four X, that's the derivative of two X squared, and then take the derivative of the two Y squared. So we are going to be getting four Y and then again. So we need to multiply by DY over DX. Okay, so let's continue and then continue here. There is also another y right here. So we are going to get two when we take the derivative and then we need to multiply by dy over dx. Okay, so now that's our first step. And then the next step is to really just solve for this dy dx, right? So uh, how do we do it? And then as you can see that the dy dx is inside the parentheses and then there is another group right here. So it looks like we need to multiply everything out and that's going to be a lot of work. There is actually an easier way and uh, a less tedious way to do that. Instead of multiply everything out, we can actually just try to distribute, right? So here, this side here, don't worry about it. So we are just going to leave it for now. So just copy. So we have two x plus plus 2y times dy dx. Okay, so now here, okay, um, just to reduce, I mean, just to simplify this side right here, we can distribute the two in here. So I'm going to just get 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y. Okay, so that's all the stuff in here. Now, this part right here, we will just factor out the dy over the x from both of those two terms. And then you may say, what about the 4x? Just, just leave it, right? So we just get 4x, okay? And then plus, and then if we factor out the dy over the x, then we are going to be getting 4y minus 2. And then we have the dy over the x on the other side. So like that, okay? And then so next step, remember I said that we are not going to multiply everything out, right? Because that will be just a lot of work. So what happened is that there are two turns in here. So as you can see that um, one turn is this one, and then the other turn would be this one. Okay, so you can just take this and then multiply with this group right here. So distribute this 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y to the 4x and then also to the second term. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. And then now the left hand side of the equation is copy. So we're just going to have 2x plus 2y and then this dy over the x. So let's continue. So now take this and multiply with the 4x, right? So we are going to be getting 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y. We have the 4x here and then plus. Okay, so now take this and then multiply with this. So we have 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y. And then what do we get here? We are going to be getting the 4y minus 2. Okay, so that's this group, right? And then there was also the dy over the x. So we have dy over the x. Okay, so just like that, right? And so as you can see, this is a term that we need to uh, gather up with this turn right here. This is now just one single turn, right? And so that's having the uh, the factor of dy over dx. So now what we are going to do 
what we're going to do is that we are going to move the turn with the dy over dx on one side and then all the turns without the dy over dx on the other side. So leave this turn on this side. So I'm just going to write it down. We have 2y and then over the x. And then this whole turn got moved to this side. So we're going to subtract this from both sides of the equation. So we are going to be getting minus because there was a initially there was a plus right here so we are going to be getting 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y and then this 4y minus 2 then this one right so dy over dx and then what do we get here on the right side of the equation now the right side of the equation has this turn right so just copy so we get 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y and then 4x and then what about uh, this term this term doesn't have the dy of the x right move it to this side so subtract 2x from both sides of this equation so we get minus 2x so now we have all the terms with the dy over the x on one side so factor out the dy over the x and then we are ready to isolate the dy over the x so we are going to be getting so dy over the x so factor that out and then what do we get here? We get 2y, okay, that's from the first term. And then now the second term is all this stuff, right? So we have minus 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y. And then just copy. This is really just a lot of copying if we are showing all the necessary steps. So right hand side, just copy. So we have um, 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y. 4x minus 2x. Okay, so that's what we have here. And then all we need to do to isolate the dy over dx is to divide both sides of the equation by the stuff inside the brackets. Okay, so let's do that. And so we are going to be getting dy over dx. And then now because we're dividing everything inside the brackets, so this comes, I mean, this will go into the numerator, right? So we are just going to get 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y and then all inside parentheses and then there was the there was the 4x right so there was the 4x and then minus the 2x here and then all that stuff over okay and then everything inside the brackets so we get 2y minus x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y and then the orange part, so 4y minus 2. And so basically that's that's finished, right? If you want to simplify a little bit, you can multiply everything out, but then uh, it's probably unnecessary. And if you still want to do a little bit of simplifying, there is something that we can do here, which is to um, just divide your top and the bottom by two. So if you divide uh, the top by two, there is, this is one turn. So we only need a factor of two to do that. So we can cancel this four. And then we get a two here and then uh, divide by two. So we are going to just get that to be a one. And then this turn here, this this two y is one. And then here we need a factor of two. So I can do it to this orange factor here. So we are gonna get um, two and then that's going to be one. And then that's it. So that's done. And then if we are to just write it one more time, right? If we are to just write it one more time for the final answer. So we are going to be getting uh, 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y and then times 2x and then minus x okay so that's our numerator and then the denominator would be y minus 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4y and then 2y minus 1 and so that's the answer for for this Okay, so that's it for this problem. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.